Hello everyone, my name is Mohamed Radwan. I'm a Visual Studio LM MVP and Senior LM Consultant at Marvel LM. In this video, I will explain how to configure multiple TFS build controller on the same machine. This configuration not supported by Microsoft and it is not recommended for production environment. We just can use this with a lab environment that we used for demonstration purposes. Okay, let's open the Team Foundation Server Administration Console. This is the current configuration for build. As we can see, we have one controller and one agent. This controller configured for the machine name. It has port 9191. Close. Let's go to open the command line as administrator. Navigate to the Team Foundation Server Tool folder it's on Program Files, Microsoft Visual Studio Team Foundation 11 Tools. Okay. Okay. Let's go to the tool. I can run outside the tool, but it is better from here. Okay. So create rod one dash service this is will create windows service I have to give him the path of the exe for that service let's copy the path and copy the application which is the tfs build service host exe slash named in instance let's for the one on the dash service double quotation to close the quotation display name this is the name that will be displayed in the windows services control button this is the one display name and enter will not work and this is give an error because I need to put a space here and a space here this take a lot of time to understand this error and I must see the success as we can see here this meaning the service is created successfully let's go to uh, services so we can review and examine the creation of the services Rod one displaying this is the service created successfully okay let's delete the service so we can sc delete give it the service that one dash service success let's refresh it is deleted okay let's create again okay now it's created after that i will set the environment variable for TFS 2012 so now I will open the TFS management configuration so as we can see we we here see the build configuration as a not configured this will be for a one service so I will just need to change the port different ports so I will put here five I will choose the second collection that not configured for build and then start now it's configured let's create controller not one service controller okay okay create a new agent I will change the path so when the build the drop files doesn't have any problems if the two projects are the same. Okay. And now we have the build configured and we have the old build also. So now we have two build controller. Each one each build has a build agent configured. Again, this is not a 
supported feature but only for demonstration purpose at the end I'd like to thank you for watching this video I would be more than happy for answering any inquiry about the content thank you